You may have to fight a battle more than once to win it. Margaret Thatcher, my friends, each and every day you fight that battle as long as it takes because once you win the war, you won't have to worry about how long it took you. You're the victor. You'll have the prize and it will be worth every minute you ever spent. And what does it cost you? It costs you time. Yes, that's the most valuable thing you have, but that's what we all have. Use it wisely. Let's jump into these chart stocks rocketing down today. No surprise as we look at what is occurring. We have seen things slow down and start to roll over. We can see on this completed now, the Monday, Tuesday, two-day candle, we can see that it has pushed through the weekly trend line. Of course, we've seen that happen also during the day on Tuesday in the morning and then further in the afternoon as things dropped on that half day chart. We are red on the volume. We've got a red spinning top there. Now, does could this like tag along and then go back up again? Yet yeah, could. But if we look back, where has that really occurred? We, we, we see at the end of a move, we get a doji, but we don't see when a move starts that it typically turns right back around. So most likely, now there's one, there is one, but that was after sort of a weak sideways slide. So again, as we look back in time and backtrack, we can see that most likely this is going to be a down move. Now we don't have super high volume showing a peak and all, so that's not going for us here. Like we had super high volume showing a down move, an end of a down move, and then things turning around like last time. We like to see more volume toward the end, so could be a fake out there. We'll just continue to watch, you know, jump into that move, perhaps. I know some of you jumped into it this morning as things really started rocketing down and it did even better in the afternoon. Let's look at what's up with the Qs. That's the NASDAQ 100. It's even weaker. We were pushing through on the prior two day. This candle's completely below and we've been below for two and a half days, really rocketing down 1.98%. So again, we did see decent volume here as things were peaking, but again, not like we saw when the move took off. But again, we will watch, wait and see. I'm in this move going down and want to see it continue to accelerate. What does it cost you? It costs you some time to do a practice trade. Remember, not a stock calling service, not telling do real money trades. This is practice. Now, with things going in that direction, look at what bonds are doing. They're up 1.47%. We were trying our best on this two-day chart because we had a weak down move on the weekly, what we hoped was bouncing off this ceiling, and now it's turned right back around on us. We see where things had moved down and then popped up on Thursday, sideways on Friday, gaining a little steam on Monday, sort of about the same where it had been. It popped up higher in the morning, but then boom, hammered up today. And of course, ended up with a big green up candle outside any kind of down move that we had. So bonds are a little confusing right now. Uh, and again, we'll watch and see how this continues to develop. But again, sideways slide going on here. Maybe we'll see as the week continues, things moving over, trying to move down. But that is not happening right now. What about gold? Keep waiting for gold has moved over. It's up for the day 0.51%. We can see that we're below the weekly trend line here for four days now. Red in the volume, red on these small spinning tops. But we can look where things dropped over and then have been sliding sideways for a couple of days. Actually, uh, one, two and a half days, really, where things are sliding sideways, popping up some in the afternoon. And again, 
We'll continue to see, you know, these dojis here. Want to see more of a fulfillment of a down move if indeed that's what's happening. Or is gold just sort of digesting these gains, getting ready to move up again? Hard to tell. Bitcoin swinging up a little bit for the day doesn't make up for, of course, these four days of strong down movement up. 0.91%, I guess three days really, because today was an up move uh, of 0.91% below that prior weekly trend line on both the two day and the weekly and the, well, the weekly, the two day and the half day. So again, Bitcoin still showing some weakness. That is where we are as we wrap things up on Tuesday, move into Wednesday probably going to knock out some things this evening. So Patreon members, pay attention to the Patreon page. When I get stuff done, I will be uploading it there for you. Depending on the energy I have as I get things wrapped up, I may put out the Charting Cryptos and maybe the Charting Cryptos and Commodities podcast along with the three wave trades that may be coming out a little early for you. So stand by. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.